I need to pick me up. I just took a little nap. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm sleepy today. What's that kind of weather today? Let me see if I can... Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's cloudy and cold and it was kind of windy. So today... I'm just gonna chit chat with you, okay? I like to put a video out every day, you know, if you want to see it every day, if you see the subject matter and you say, hmm, I want to have a conversation with Minnie Van Lee, right? <laughs> I want to hear Minnie Van Lee talk. Well, here I am. I'm happy to do it, you know, I could use somebody to talk to. It's a little quiet in my life these days. That's okay. Well, I've been, uh, here. here's something I wanna tell you. I've been watching new movies. A lot of times I like to go with, oh, what I know, and oh, I haven't seen that in a long time, and that, yeah, I remember that movie, but I'll tell you what. Um, I'm finding some really good movies. They're new to me. Well, number one is, a good person. Let's see if I can stick to, oh, this is heavy. Let me get the, my leg straight. It's, my knee's getting better, but every once in a while I sit in here and it's bent, it's like, oh, get it back out there. It would probably heal faster if I did live in a house, okay? I'll admit it. <laughs> um, but it's called A Good Person. I don't know who the the lead female is. I've never heard of her before, but oh my, she's a good actress. And Morgan Freeman. And I know it's a newer movie because he's, he's, um, he's getting up there in the years. Good actor. What a good movie. You know, um, The Human Spirit real life stuff, good characterization, good writing, good acting. It's called A Good Person. In fact, I looked, on, it's on Prime. I'm, uh, let me just clarify that. It's on Prime. Sometimes I get to talking to you like we're best friends and you kind of already know me. It's like, oh, I know. Yeah, she, she watches Prime. So I got to remember to be um, specific for you. So you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's, um, I do Prime. I don't, I know there's, what, there's Hulu, there's Netflix. What else is there? And then there's a whole bunch of other channels. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you can do a bunch of trial channels on Amazon Prime. Have you, have you figured that out? You can go, sometimes if you look up a movie and it says for, uh, um, it'll say, you can watch this and it'll say under it, it'll say subscription. So press on it and then it'll show you which um, channel that you can subscribe to. But here's the thing, let me give you a clue. If you've never tried it before, you can get uh, you can get a seven day free trial. Some of them are thirty day free trial. So if you want to do it, here's what I'm going to recommend for you: is go ahead and and hit subscribe. Yeah, and then it'll run you through like, do you have a code? Do you have numbers that you use? I always it always brings up I need a five numbers. I have a five number code that says and I have to type it in and they know it's me then so then I subscribe and now I get to look and see what is on that channel it could be HBO it could be uh, Showtime it could be AMC it could be there's a whole bunch of real obscure ones too it's like Dove channel if you're Christian things like that well I'm getting my water going okay I know you can't see it um because uh, I still want to keep putting the camera up and down. <laughs> okay. But I think most of you have seen my coffee, how to make coffee. So, but then here's what I'm going to tell you to do. And you have to do this on the web. Go to Amazon. 
go to your your browser. Your browser. I use DuckDuckGo. Go to your browser and type in Amazon. Amazon.com. And you may have to log in. When I open it up, it just I'm already logged in. And so then go to there's a little icon at the top on my phone anyways and it and then I go I click on that my my icon for me and then it takes me to my account just scroll down scroll down and it'll say subscriptions that's what you click on they'll say subscriptions of course your first one if you're in with Amazon Prime it's going to be Amazon Prime but then when you go down it'll show you that you that you have another subscription now that that channel that movie channel well let me turn this up just look at it underneath it'll say cancel subscription just cancel it just go ahead and cancel it right um that way you won't forget now let's say you really like it and you want to stay with it well um, you can, and you can just go ahead and resubscribe. But if you don't do it, I do it right away. Because if I don't do it right away, then I forget, and then I get charged if I didn't like it. There was a couple that I actually kept. One was um, called The History Vault. I did like that one. That had a lot of good stuff in it. And then there was another, I think PBS Documentaries. I did like that one, yeah. I did like that one, but right now I have canceled everything because I don't watch it as much and I'm kind of liking what's already on Prime. So this is a little uh, suggestion for you. Okay. I do not know. I knew I was going to tell you about the movies, but other than that, I really didn't know what I was going to talk about. This is very improv, very unedited improv. Yeah. I just felt like talking to you. This is, um, let's just have a coffee party. Let's go to the cafe. We'll go to Lee's Cafe, okay? Lee's Cafe, okay? That's that's gonna be the name of it. Lee's Cafe, okay? Ole, <laughs> ole, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been it's been kind of a lazy day. I don't. I think the clouds, and it was really cold. I mean, I've got a thick fleece shirt on, and I've got long pants. I've got my pink. My pink, it's got pink. You know, I went to Victoria's Secret um, last Sunday. They got one in Tucson. And I tried to look for good. They, they ain't got crap there. <laughs> I'm like, what happened to Victoria's Secret? They don't have crap. So, anyways, I'm glad I have these. And then I ha also have a pink pair. I just I get a couple, you know, little razor stripe. They're very Victoria's Secret um, yoga pants are they're really thick too. You can't like see my underwear or anything. They're not thin, like some yoga pants, right? Girls, you know. But uh, yeah, so I was out walking and I had to hurry back and put on that one um, vest thing that I bought at at Walmart um, in Flagstaff. And it's a zip up and it's just, it's a vest. Yeah, I had to put that on and it was, it was nice. It was warm. I'm starting to wear my, I had these yoga gloves. They're just like yoga gloves. I need to get some more. These are so old, but they've got the little, the little nobules, the plastic nobules or rubber. And I can get, my fingers are out. That way I can, and that way I can walk around. And of course it's all blacks. I'm sleek black <laughs> I know and I do like this this is the one where that you um you can put the thumb through the shirt these are climate right shirts but these are the the for the the warmest cold the warmest cold and um it's it's fleece the only thing I don't like about these is that um everything sticks to it hair it's like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you got to get all the little lint and everything. Okay, my water's done. Here we go. Me brew. Woo. So it was really cold out there. I had to come back. I did get my, um, I got 7,500 steps in 
today. I'm really surprised that I did that because I'm just a little bit on the low key side. I went to the gym and I did some upper. Yeah, I did upper and then I stretched. I only spend an hour now at the gym. I don't even try to go for more because it's like, ho hum, I'm done. <laughs> I think an hour is good. And I do go pretty much every day. Well, at least six days a week. So, an hour. I mean, I would like to get more serious about, it. ooh, bodybuilding, yeah. But uh, I can only do, and after an hour, it's like, okay, I'm done. Let's move on. <laughs> I know I still have coffee in, still in my cup and out, out in my car waiting for me, you know. And I want some now. <laughs> I want it now. Okay, so. That's really been my day. That's about all I got done is I went to the gym, came back here, um, worked a little on, on uh, my channel, and then um, went out and walked for a little bit. And I, I really was like plodding back like, where is my energy? So I ate some food and then sat here and watched them started a new movie oh, no i finished the movie i'm going to tell you about now it's called a family man a family man 2017 is the date because you also got family man and that has nicholas cage in it and by the way that's a really good movie it's so endearing i mean it's funny in parts it's meant to be kind of funny but a heart it's a heart I guess they call that heartwarming movie you know there's always that little lesson in it you know but um the characters are wonderful and there's also a movie called the family guy I don't know what that one is I'll look at that later and then this one that I just finished is called a fam a family a family man a family man good movie really good I'm really I'm really happy to be finding new movies that I really am enjoying like I said I, I sometimes go for the the ones I already know well I know they're good because some of the movies lately are like I have no idea what's going on with them are they going to be good I'm going to get suckered into them and then it's going to be something that I mean that he does not want me to be watching you know so yeah but um, both of them. The first one is um, a good person. And then the second one is a family man. Yeah. Good acting. And so, okay, I'm almost done. I'm waiting for this to drip all the way. Go, 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 go. What I do is I buy, at Walmart, I buy Starbucks, uh, Rubina or Verena, I think, or something like that, Verena. I think one of these is Mocha. And, yeah, I've got two of them going. What's it? Oh, I think this is Mocha. And this is an older one. I put them in here so it's, well, both of them smell pretty good. Okay, so the movie I'm watching right now... <laughs> I know. It's this movie review time. Um, is uh, It's called... The Little Things. It has Denzel Washington in it. I love anything he does. Oh my goodness. Denzel Washington. Why is this taking forever? Go, go, go. What's you what's taking so long? Get busy with it, you know? Go, go, go. I'm talking to coffee grounds. <laughs> you can tell I took a nap. I'm all groggy. I don't think it was a long one. It was maybe like, probably like 20 minutes, but that's enough to change your world. Because normally at 2.30, I don't drink coffee. But. 
I will make it a confession. I know you're all going to say, oh, your hair looks so good. I have not combed my hair today. <laughs> I want to show you um, what I did last night was I all put it up and put it and did a little like bun and put two bobby pins in it. But every night I sleep with this. It's a, it's a hair bonnet and inside is satin and you can actually adjust it. I can leave the link for this. I didn't get it. It was not tough. And I can pull this tighter and I put all my hair up in it and I sleep in this. It looks a little silly. I must admit, no, I'm not trying it on for you, but I sleep with this every night because I'm trying to protect my hair. So I actually had it up, but there was a little bit of curl left and it's just, I haven't even combed it. I went like this with my fingers and that was about, about as best as I could do today. I just not into being like, I don't even have jewelry on. I know. <sighs> well, I do have earrings on. And y'all are so focused on this ring. <laughs> Some of you are like trying to figure it all out. You know, this is a ring I really enjoy. I just love this ring. And I change fingers on it, you know? And it's, 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 it's an expensive ring. I love it. And yeah, I mean, um, I just like it. There's no hidden meaning in it or anything. Yeah. There's no hidden meaning. It's just, uh, I like it. You know, I like jewelry. I like nice jewelry. I did buy myself a present uh, the other day. <laughs> I did. Um, I bought um, a, a, a new ring. But it's, it's, everything seems to be size 7 and I'm really size 6. And, uh um, so I'm waiting. I'll show it to you when I get it. I'm waiting. It's really five bucks, six bucks. Okay. Um, they're the little coil things are the uh, plastic coil. They're clear. So you can't see them, but you wrap them around your, your ring. And then it's at the, it's down here. So nobody can see it. And you wrap it around there to where you keep wrapping until it fits well. And then you cut it, but you can, you can resize almost they set up to like six, seven rings. And I found out about it from the lady who sold me the ring. And, and, and she goes, well, you can get these. And she showed me her ring. And I said, oh my gosh, where did you get? She goes to Amazon. So I said, well, hold on, hold on. And I looked it up. I said, which one of these? And she goes, that one is the one she got six bucks. So I can't wait till it comes um, Sunday. It comes. Um, yeah. So I can share that and show it to you. It's just a little early Christmas present for myself. Like I said, I was never into jewelry previously. Never. I mean, I was like, what do I care? Jewelry gave it away. It wasn't my thing. Which is a good lesson for us all. You know, we get put in a box so much of the time. Well, you're this way or you're this way. Well, I can't believe you're this way. I don't know about you, but I'm always in a flux. I mean, and, um, you know, there's, there's just, there's just different parts of, of my personality. I mean, I'm this way or I'm this way and some days I'm this way, but there's also for the long haul, I go through phases and then there's another decade that comes and then I change. You know, so we can get so tired of each other or so, um, you know, hell bent on like, oh, I don't like this person because they're this way. You know, we're always in a change. We're always in a flux. And another thing, too, I have found, I'm just going to leave this here and talk to you. Let's have coffee. I think I took a drink, but there you go. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, coffee. It's going to be unedited. It looks like it's going to be a long one. Um, I think that we're different around different people. 
is let me know is that the same for you because I'm different with one person I'm different in a relationship I found that out <laughs> I definitely found that out and now I'm different as a I'm totally different as a solo gal, gal again um I'm different around different people I tend to be more of a chameleon and I'm kind of like I sort of take on other people's personalities but not totally I mean not totally but there's also a balance act that goes on you know if you're with somebody who's so bad you can end up like trying to balance that out oh I'm so good or if you're so good and you're with somebody that's that seems like oh you know so you're always trying to balance each other out sometimes in friendships sometimes in relationships but the main point of this discussion right here that I would like to mention is that we're different or let me do the I um, let me take responsibility in this I'm different with different people I really am my goodness so I don't know what that says I don't I, I don't know you know but I'm I I am so I'm so different um and I know y'all gonna say well of course yeah uh, but I'm really am different um being being solo again <laughs> I really am um, I've spent 25 years being alone and I don't mean just like, oh, I was uh, on an island and I never talked to a soul. No, I have my children, my grandchildren and, and a few friends that, but I didn't even hang with them that much. I mean, it's like I knew they were there and we would get together every once in a while, but no big deal. And even after my children, my last one left, I was pretty much alone, alone. Yeah. And I was just really into my art doing things on my own not really talking much sometimes my son would call me at 11 o'clock in the afternoon or in the morning and I made my voice would cry <clears throat> you know because <laughs> I hadn't used my voice yet seriously and he goes you okay mom I go yeah I just <clears throat> haven't really talked yet <laughs> you know <laughs> but um thank god you guys are here otherwise i would be like <laughs> my voice my voice box would be like rusty i'd have to like get the rust off of it you know spruce it up me 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 <laughs> i'd have to do that but no i get to talk to you people you know i get to talk to you so yeah but we're all, i i find i'm totally different Cheers to being different. Cheers to being solo, you know? Yeah, I mean, I just, I do what I do. I do what I want to do. I don't have to explain where I'm going. I don't have to, um, I don't have to make anybody wait for me. <laughs> that was all the waiting and the other person had to do all the time. Waiting, yeah. It's, uh, it's 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 been it's been a uh, it's been a, a journey this past couple of months. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, been sad, crying, and then, and then it's like oh, then I'm happy, and then I'm crying again, and then just now I'm I'm kind of settling in, settling in, you know, on just being me and being different, and I do take notice of the difference of it all, the difference of it. Yeah, I'm taking notes. Yeah. Writing things down, not really, but I'm taking mental notes. I'm I'm uh, filing it away up here. In this mastermind up here. <laughs> yeah. <ugh. laughs> I know I'm a little bit goofier, you know. Yeah. This is good. Okay, so let me tell you, I, I got to finish on the movies. This is like the movie review, review. We have A Good Person with Morgan Freeman. We have 
um, a family man. And, oh, I can't think of his name, but he's a good actor. And then we have the little things. Okay, Denzel Washington. I'm telling you, it's good. But it does... He's a detective, and there, he's very serious. You know, Denzel Washington, he usually plays serious parts, doesn't he? Has he ever done a funny? Wow. Have, has, I wonder, how, what do you think? Has he ever done a, a lighthearted movie? He's, it's all usually really serious. But there's a serial killer in there. Mm, yeah. But uh, they, they don't show a lot of stuff. They just, what they do is they're, they're building this case. It's sort of, yeah. And uh, it's, it's good. It's kind of riveting. And it's like, what what's going on with this? Yeah. So I've invested about an hour into it. I've invested time. I must finish it. <laughs> I must finish it. But in the beginning, I didn't like it. It's kind of scary. It's like, eh. yeah. So if that really bothers you, I wouldn't recommend that. You know, like there's some guy and he's following this. It made me think as a solo female now, which let me get to the point that I'm going to get to. If you watch it in the beginning, this girl is driving down the road, right? Yeah, a two laner road in bum F G Egypt. <laughs> I won't say it, you know, but yeah. And she's singing, oh, you know, to, to a real popular song and she's belting it out right <clears throat> so all of a sudden this car comes really fast up behind her and she's like really freaked out then it goes right beside her and, and by down she's like driving like ah. you know and it's dark of course it's in the middle of the night and she's driving real and then she's like really scared and then it went ahead of her and went up but she's like but he's waiting up there so she just zaps it when she gets up there and goes around him and really just hightails it. And she sees this, I think it's a, it's a deserted bar. She pulls in and she runs up and she's trying to bang on the windows and bang on the, nobody's in there, right? So she takes off in the field out there and you see him just, he's, he's there, he stopped. He's just walking very slowly you know, nonchalant, opens up the trunk. You see in the bag, he's got duct tape. He's got wires. He's got ropes. He's got it all. And he picks up the bag and he just goes. She's like frantic. She sees a truck go by. She's not too far from the road and runs to the road and just stands in front of this truck. She could have got run over. Well, either way, she was, she was going to have problems anyways, right? And he stopped. And she just fell to the ground like, oh, thank God, right? That's what you, all you see. Which is why I tell you all, <laughs> don't give me no two-lane highways. They're dangerous. Give me the highway. Give me a real highway with two, three lanes on it where there could be, uh, you know, like uh, sheriffs going up and down, tro troopers. Oh, yeah. you don't, I, The byways... They scare the crap out of me. They really do. Sorry, I'm being kind of like, not swearing, but sort of. <laughs> Remember when sucks was a bad word? You know, that's, oh, don't say that back in the 70s. Oh, that's bad. Well, yeah, I don't want to be a bad girl. I really don't. But I'm telling you what, I guess waking up from a nap. Yeah. No, seriously. I say that all the time. You're not going to get me on, uh, even during the day. If there's nobody on that road, oh my gosh, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, I like the highways, sorry. <laughs> Y'all can go the byways. If you're a guy, of course, why not, you know? But us gals, yeah, so <laughs> don't like the byways. And this is proof, especially at night. There could be people driving around in your, with, their, with duct tape in their trunk. <laughs> I know. Okay, but it is a good, but that's about as bad as it gets. Okay, that was a scare. I, I think it was the hook. It drew you in, you know. 
Um, I don't think we'll ever see that girl again because she got away and that was it. But uh, there are other girls that they're finding. And, you know, yeah. But, you know, you're pretty sure Denzel Washington's going to get them. Cheers to uh, cops that know what they're doing, right? If they even do anymore. I don't know. I don't know. So those are my those are my movie reviews and a little bit of chit chat. Let's see, I'm just a little bit of chit chat about um, personalities and different how they can change over over decades and over um, di and different interests. Just like the jewelry, where's this jewelry coming in over the past year? I've really just really been uh, enjoying jewelry again over the past year, so that's pretty darn cool. And then, you know, the weather, yeah. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this, I really do. I'm here to entertain you and just talk to you. You guys are helping me. Oh my goodness, um, yeah, a lot. So thank you, everybody. Uh, you've been leaving me so many wonderful comments Google's taking care of the other ones. They let me know when something almost tried to slip through and they make a count for me. So thank you, Google. Yeah. So, I guess this is it. I gotta say goodbye because it's almost 32 minutes according to this. Yeah. I know some of you say, wow. You should make your some of your videos shorter. You know, you don't have to watch the whole thing. You seriously don't. I mean, I appreciate the time that you spend with me. You can always come back. Well, the beauty of YouTube is that it will um, save your place the next time you log in. <laughs> you know, you won't have to find it in most cases as long as you're logged in, in into your account. I will mention, could you all please look at your subscription? Are you subscribed? Because I was noticing I was losing a lot of subscribers. Just a little, they were dropping off little by little. And I looked it up. And it's a common um, complaint over the past few weeks. And they say that there's a glitch going on with YouTube. That, in fact, one of you alerted me to it. And said, by the way, just so you know, I didn't unsubscribe. But I am unsubscribed. And I've been noticing so then I looked it up on, on the browser. I looked it up on the net and yeah. And uh, people have been complaining, but YouTube, their, their, their uh, rebuttal is, no, there's no glitch or anything. But I think there must have been something going on because I looked the next day and it was up almost 50 subscribers. So they may, I may have got them back, but check, do that, do me a favor and go ahead and check. Um, I know there's been a lot of glitches. They must have changed something, which kind of is like a snowball effect. So please do that. Put up notifications. I looked on my analytics. Only like 4% of you are, are getting um, notified. Would you um, please ring that bell for notifications? It just helps me out. And please share my videos. You know, I don't know if you want to share this one unless it's the kind of person that might just want to chit chat and um, do a movie, hear a mu movie reviews, right? <laughs> but, um, but you know, some of the other more important ones, yeah. And do yesterday's, look at yesterday's video if you didn't, about the solar. I will say that a lot of times when I do a video about solar, I just don't get the views. Come on, everybody, this is information you really do need. Do not just say, oh, I can't figure that out, or you just like, I don't wanna deal with that deal with it okay and if a lot of you are ladies come on man i mean these are things you can do and even if you can't do it you could your son or your grandson could help you do it by following um what i do so don't just discount oh it's about solar i can't figure that i really it was a really good detailed um video so okay i'm going on and on and on it's because i took a nap and i'm all wacky <laughs> I'm still in my subconscious mind. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for being here for me. I love you. Till tomorrow. 
I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we'll tune in and find out. I know you, I love that blue back there. Those are those fairy lights. Yeah. Bye. Love you.